Hey, everybody, Ann here, sitting here on my porch today, having my coffee with all you because it's raining, yo. I've been rained on. I had to go check the water catchment because, well, I'm glad I did. There was a bunch of debris, you know, blocking the drainage point and whatnot. Um, Miss Pris is still sitting on the eggs, and it is glorious out here. It's raining. I'm getting water. I don't have to water my plants or my trees today, and I actually hadn't watered them in a couple of days, so... That's good. Uh, I'm going to capture lots of water today. I have to go into town. I have to get my tires. So I'm waiting just a few minutes here, and then I'm going to get up and go. I don't know how much I'm going to get done today, but I will go to Tractor Supply Company because i got to get a bunch of bedding. i got to get some tarps. i got to... I just got to do a lot of stuff. But as far as outdoor activities, I'm not so sure. Good morning, chickens. <laughs> On my way into town, and no, Papa's not with me because I have to get a new tire, and I can't have him with me when I'm getting a new tire. <sighs> I'm out of the country now. Take a look. Definitely not the country. No, it may look country to some of you, but this is like way, way too into town for me. I don't like it. I don't like it, but... I'm gonna get a new tire and I get to go to Tractor Supply Company and buy a bunch of stuff with the rest of my gift certificate and uh, I gotta get some tarps. Well, I already told you what I gotta get. I may need to stop at the dollar store and maybe a thrift store. Big day, it's gonna be cool today so Papa won't get too hot inside the tiny house. He's gonna be lonely though. Look at that little pink house. Oh, that would make a perfect chicken coop. I got this. I think this may solve at least part of my storage problem because this is on wheels. Yep, got my tire. I got four new tires and this thing rides like a dream. You know I gotta come take a look at this. Oh yeah, I've never pulled up here before. Little pink house. Look you guys. a little workshop it's got a sink in it oh my goodness would you look at this huh it's even got a light fixture in it oh my goodness I wonder what this was used for look it's got a little fuse box and everything ho 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 it's got little drains out the side You just look at this. Gosh, I wonder how much they want for it. All right, look at this side right here. It's like a little window. Maybe, maybe it was like a little serving thing or whatever. A little food cart. Oh, I don't like the looks of that. I didn't get it. Nope. There wasn't even anybody there to talk to about it, to ask how much they wanted for it. I'm imagining with all that stuff that's in the inside that they're probably going to want quite a bit of money for it, and I just am not willing to do that. So, But it's a cute idea. I'm here. Oh my gosh. I hope I don't spend too long inside this store. No question about it. It's an addiction. Look it. Aren't they cute? They're Easter egg pullets. Four of them. Oh my goodness. I think they're like three days old. I know I'm crazy, but I'll explain my my reasoning. get plenty of water which is good because the two rain barrels the black uh, garbage cans on the side of the tiny house that just capture rain off the roof 
Well, they developed a huge algae bloom, which was weird because they're black and they're on the side of the house that doesn't get a lot of sun. So um, I basically emptied them out. And I mean, I did use I did use the water to water plants and stuff, and it didn't seem to hurt them at all. But I emptied them out almost completely, so I need to fill them up just a little bit so I can scrub them down real well um, so they can capture rainwater again. I'll have to figure something out about the, the algae. The water that's in the big tank, there's there may be algae in it, but if it does, if there is, it's not coming out the hose because uh, the water is perfectly clear. Anyhow, yeah, I got four Easter egg or pullets. I was in Tractor Supply, as you know, and well, I have an Easter egg or rooster and uh, a pure like Easter egg or rooster, but I've got that other leghorn rooster that has Easter egg or in them. And I actually wanted to raise some Easter egg or chicks, chickens, so I can have funky colored eggs. And I saw them and they were cheap. And I figured, you know what? I could use those because I want to diversify the flock just a little bit. Uh, my granddaughter said, well, can you breed like, you know, brothers and sisters and stuff? What I've had explained to me is that you don't really want to mate siblings. But if you're going to do line breeding, like mother to son, like mother, uh, mother with a son rooster or father to a daughter hen or something like that. But, um... You know, they won't be really Easter egg or chickens, so you don't know if it's going to be a brown egg or a white egg or a blue or a green or whatever. So I bought them, and I had got that little brooder box that I was going to set up before because I was going to start hatching out chicks in the incubator, but then Miss Purse Pants Pants started sitting on eggs, so I just got four of them. No big deal. Um, so what I will probably do is separate into three flocks. I'll take some of the chickens away from Romeo eventually once these... Easter egg or hens are full grown, big enough to be around him. Um, the leghorns, I am likely to put all of the leghorns in that one coop and yard. Just depends. Uh, it's going to, I'm just going to have to see how that's going to work out. And then start another flock with if the Rocky, the barred rock new baby chick is a rooster, I would like to give him his own flock too. So we'll do some ranging around and stuff like that. But it's been raining, so I haven't been able to get out and finish the coop. I got plenty of chicken bedding. I've got um, a nice big tarp. And so that's going to be finished hopefully tomorrow. So, yeah, I don't think I'm crazy. Well, I am a little crazy, I guess, with all these chickens. But I really wanted these kinds of chickens in particular. And um, so I'm going to keep them inside the tiny house. Um... Oh, somebody's up. <laughs> They're just so cute. Here, let me show you again. I keep this like this. Um, I don't just put this on the top. I want them to have plenty of air. And then, that's just a cardboard box. And there's that heat mat, the heat plate over it. So it's, it's down. And they've got a little door. They can go in and out. And this is actually quite warm in here. So that's good. Let me move this out of the way. So they just come in and out whenever they want to. Get a bite to eat. Get a drink of water. And they're just adorable. So, yeah, I will pick some up and hold them for you tomorrow because they don't mind being held. Um, but I'm just going to let them get used to their surroundings. And so they'll stay in here for, I don't know, maybe a couple, two, three weeks. Just depends on how big they get, how fast. I'm definitely going to be giving away and or selling chickens because my neighbor next door, the new ones, uh, once they get their whole thing set up over there, um, he said he wanted chickens, and his children want chickens big time. So I will definitely be giving them some. Um, I may sell some. I don't know. I think right now I'll, I'll probably just give them away because I've got so many coming. Um, but this is going to be another adventure. This is going to be fun. Don't worry. This channel isn't going to be all about chickens. It's going to be pretty much about chickens, but that's not all I'm going to talk about because I know not everybody likes to watch chicken videos. I got so much more left to do on this tiny house that there's going to be plenty of that too. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.